Hi my beautiful people, welcome to another moment at my coffee table. So, um, a one of my uh, one of you gorgeous people, you gorgeous subbies, sent me a book for uh, for review, um, and it's a book that she's written, and it is called The Gratitude Attitude by Sheila Trask. And you know the wonderful thing is, um, you know I've obviously done a couple of reviews up until now, and this is my third one, I believe. And this one has been what I would call definitely a labour of love. Um, I'm super, super grateful that she sent me a copy and I am super, super grateful that she's um, decided to trust me, um, you know, and entrust me with uh, a piece of her work. And I've got to tell you, it's a brilliant, brilliant book. Um, it's funny because when it came, I was like, yeah, so eager to start reading it and digesting it. And as I started to read it, I started to slow down. And I believe that the reason I started to slow down is because I actually wanted to savour it. There were, there's been parts of it that at this moment in time, especially with the new moon that happened yesterday, really intense energy that's going on with the Venus retrograde and the Scorpio energy. Um, you know, it's, it's it's really interesting because actually reading this book has really helped. It helped shift some of my awareness and I really feel like we're always sent what we need at the right time. And I have to say, you know, in stellar timing, Lady Trask, um, that's what I'm going to call you from now on, <laughs> Lady Trask. Um, the Gratitude Attitude is a brilliant book and it's interesting because it talks about just as you can imagine from the title, about being grateful, about getting yourself into the flow of gratitude and understanding what that might mean to you personally. Um, you know, and, and it kind of reminded me as well that, um, you know, sometimes you do have to shift your awareness. Sometimes you do have to shift your focus. And one of the other things that it really made me um, aware of is that we don't really stop to appreciate things. We don't really stop to kind of say to ourselves, you know, to acknowledge the things that we've got to be grateful for, for sure. I think we can all be more grateful, but I think one of the other things that it really taught me, that it's really given me, is the understanding that, you know, um, as an example, one of the things that I'm grateful for at the moment, aside from my partner and my home and my health and all that stuff, is um, my website. I couldn't, you know, I, it's just kind of gone up and, you know, I did the whole launch for it and everything. And it's almost like a part of me's just forgotten. It's like I've just assimilated it into my everyday practice and what I do and I haven't really stopped to take the time to say well wow okay that was the amalgamation of so many hours of work of so many moments of stress of so many um, you know moments of pinpointing the finer details and kind of really what I need to do is to assimilate the lessons that I learned on that journey that you know good things can't be rushed I learned that um, my attention to detail sometimes borders on obsessive, <laughs> um, as my Dan will will no doubt agree. Um, but ultimately, what this book has taught me is that actually we are all on this path and on this process of becoming who we are. And by truly acknowledging the journey that we're on, by truly acknowledging the gratitude that we feel for the journey that we're on and all of the moments and the people that have gone into making us who we are. Um, you, you know, that's what it's really about. That's what we, we really need to get um, used to, into, understand, be with, sit with. And you know, it, it's really opened my eyes to some stuff um, and I love it. I think she's written it beautifully because it's actually about, you know, um, different people's perspectives and different quotes. And I'm not gonna give you too much from it. If you want a copy of this book, there will be a link in the description below. You can buy this book on Amazon, wherever you are in the world. And I definitely suggest that you do it. Um, so let's delve into some of the stuff that, because I've gone through it with a trusty highlighter to pick out some of the bits that I thought were really relevant. Some of the stuff that spoke to me. Um, like take five minutes just to be quiet and uh, quiet and ask for guidance for the day uh, you know as part of the gratitude in process which again if you want to know what that's all about you'll have to get the book um 
yeah, like this, I absolutely loved. I now think of life as training that prepares us for what we need to know. Absolutely love that comment. And when you think about it, it's true. And, and I've often said this to you guys in some of the readings, you know, it's, it's akin, your life is one massive education for everything that you can do and everything that you can be and all of the experiences that you have, whether we perceive them to be, quote, positive or negative, unquote, you know, um, is is kind of irrelevant. It's all education and it all feeds into who you can become and how you can become the best aspects of yourself. Um, yeah, she's actually written that here. Everything that happens in our lives is part of an education setting us up for what we are supposed to do. And, you know, I, I resonate with that 100%. 100% absolutely love it. There's some other bits in here as well. I draw strength and determination from knowing that other people struggle too and they might need my encouragement. Now, many of you will probably remember the line um, that I've used several times. Sometimes other people's destinies are tied to your own. Uh, and I don't say that very lightly. You know, we are all an interconnected web. And who's to know that the world or somebody in the world isn't waiting for your unique contribution? And she really reminded me of that, you know, really reminded me of that with this. Um, let's see, be good to yourself and to others and your life will change, absolutely. And I've written a note in here as well because I've, I've learned this early um, uh, and found it easy being good to others, but it was my it was being good to myself that I struggled with, um, you know. And that was just a, a frank acknowledgement. I really needed to to read that in order to remind myself of it. As I said, it's a brilliant book. There's so many quotes in here that I've highlighted for myself to take away with. Um, yeah, view life in a positive way where all the little things become the precious things. And I absolutely love that because when you think about it, there's so many mini moments that make up a day. When you think about the, the days in your life that are, you know, that are milestones and stuff, you, you tend to kind of just pick out those bits and gloss over everything else that happened. But there will have been thousands of mini, you know, tiny, precious little moments that happened in order to make the big things happen. And I give you that example of the website again, you know, there were countless minutes and hours that went into it, you know, and it, like I said, it was a labour of love, just like reading this book has been a labour of love because you know, I started to slow down towards the end because I almost didn't want it to end because I was like, yeah, yeah. And there were so many things that fired me up and resonated with me. So, you know, it's it's a great book in that respect. Um, the format is, is different to what you're expecting as well, um, you know, and that was one of the things that I thought, mm, okay. Uh, it's not, you know, once you start reading it, you kind of get that actually this isn't, it's not going to be what you expect it to be, which I actually really enjoyed. Uh, you know, anything that takes you out of what's considered your comfort zone. And then finally, um, <clears throat> I absolutely love this mini paragraph because it's just phenomenal. And it's something that we really all... Um, at some point in our lives face, go through experience. And if you can carry this with you, I believe it will be one of the best experiences that you have. And she's written, if you were given an opportunity to be born again, what would you do differently? Begin your life today, take chances you would normally not take, say yes when you mean yes, and no when you mean no. Do something wild and crazy today that you wouldn't normally do. Breathe in as if it was your last breath and breathe out as if the as if breathe out to the world as if it were your first. And you know, therein lie the true magic, and that is it. You know, what are you gonna do differently today? What are you grateful for? And what are you gonna create that you will continue to be grateful for going forward? The Gratitude Attitude by Sheila Trask. As I said, there will be a link for this book uh, where you can buy it at Amazon in the description. Uh, make sure you click on that link if you wanna buy a copy. It helps me, it helps the channel, um, and it would also very much help the author. Go and get yourself a copy because it's a wonderful book. And like I said, it's not written how you expect. Um, and there's some other little surprises in there as well. Um, that I'm not gonna go into too much detail for because I want you to have a look at it. And that is, um, I wanna ask you the question, are you a wildflower? <laughs>